Hello, guys. So today, actually, I uh, just want to introduce a new thing. It's not new, actually, but um, I thought maybe many people, they don't know about it. So it's about a simulation tool. And uh, you can see the, the website here. And this website, you can see here, it's lab2.de. So it's lab2, basically, uh, is add-on to the lab view. Okay, it's so free. It's freeware. I mean, uh, it can be downloaded free from here. And uh, this add-on, uh, we can use in lab view, and then it can be used to simulate a uh, variety of experiment or the femtosecond system design. And uh, it has number of things of uh, which can be related to the femtosecond lasers. So basically, uh, this um, add-on for the lab view, uh, it has a number of applications. If you go to this side, you can see, and it can be downloaded from here. It has a manual, and uh, like manual can be downloaded from here. And uh, you can, I mean, like uh, it has a, uh, if you want to understand this uh, add-on, then uh, you can see in this manual here. And, uh, like here, it's a visual femtosecond laser lab, okay? So we can design virtually a femtosecond laser system. And um, it has a number of things like oscillator, which uh, where we generate the, the femtosecond laser. And not the oscillator, I mean like, like real oscillator, but it's definitely, it's a, from where you can generate the laser. And then you have amplifiers, and uh, then you have detectors, you have different diagnostics, and uh, these kind of things which can be used to build a system or uh, to simulate any experiments. Uh, like you can see here in this manual different. Um, first, they have uh, introduced the femtosecond laser, what exactly a femtosecond laser is, and then different VIs uh, in this add-on, uh, they have explained uh, separately like lasers here. And uh, if you move further, like here, uh, this is one of the VI here to generate what kind of laser pulses you want to generate or something like this. And if we move down further, uh, you can see the different VIs like in detectors, full width half maximum. If you want to find out full width, full width half maximum, then you have to use them. I mean, you can use this kind of VIs. And uh, like here, instantaneous frequency here, and uh, and so many things like runtime difference or something. So if I open, I mean, let me show you if I start the lab view now. Um, and it has uh, like tutorials. When you download this uh, uh, add-on and uh, this, when you download this add-on, it has tutorials. And from these tutorials, you can learn about this system, uh, like about the femtosecond laser system and the different some basic applications and uh, if you want to design a one amplifier system two amplifier system it has all the things like compressor stretcher and um, diagnostic or correlator cross correlator and uh, frog x frog etc etc so i am trying to start the lab view here and uh, it takes some time and uh, so it's a very handy tool, actually. Um, I have uh, published with my, one of my students uh, one article and based on the simulation using this lab to, uh, lab to add on in the lab view. So when you download it uh, from here, uh, you can find all the instructions how to add this add-on in the lab view <clears throat> and all the tutorials are given i will show you here 
Okay, I have started the lab view. Now, let's see. Open existing any of the lab view files. So I click this one and uh, So let's go there. I downloaded it, it's downloads, and uh, it's here, lab two. If I click it here, and uh, there are tutorials, and let's suppose I mean, if I open laser tutorial and uh, tutorial plus class, and if I try to open this one. Uh, now you can see the system is a bit slow, but it will definitely uh, it will be open. So you can see here this one is open and. Uh, This is the front panel and uh, block diagram. You can see here. Here is a block diagram. And I mean, for this one, uh, you need to have an idea about uh, the lab view, how to use the lab view, what exactly lab view is the G type language, language uh, software. And it has a variety of applications, national instruments, the lab view. And uh, if I open the, uh, this is a block diagram, and uh, you can see here, you can very easily, I mean, you can build the system very easily. And uh, if I right click here on the block diagram, you can uh, go down and you can see here in the lab two, all the lab two VIs are here. How it is installed is very difficult when you download it. All the instructions are there. You can easily download and you can add it to the lab view. All the procedure is given. So these VIs are different VIs. You can see amplifier, ideal second harmonic generation crystal and uh, crystal wizard, different things and uh, polarization related stuff and uh, detectors, there are frog and different things. X frog and something like this. And uh, interaction and optimization. So, this simple actually uh, VI, which I opened here. And uh, if I run this one, uh, you can see it's here now. And uh, you can see this is uh, relative frequency time and it depends i mean whatever uh, you want to calculate whatever you want to find out and whatever you want to simulate and uh, there are a number of um, options on this uh, vis and uh, you can have uh, uh, like uh, in a time domain graphs in a time domain uh, special uh, and uh, if you want to find out full length how maximum and Different things, I mean, maybe in one of my next video, I will uh, show you a little bit in detail how to, uh, you can make a system using this lab to, uh, tools, add-ons in the lab view. And uh, this is simple, this VI, it shows that uh, this is how the laser is generated. And uh, if I open any other, uh, like let me close this one, system is very slow actually so okay so here i'm going to open another tutorial that is a uh, bulk amplifier which is focus amplifier which is already i mean they have uh, built it already and uh, to understand how it works and how you can build it. So let's take a look at this one. And then uh, you can see here, it will take some time. Let me 
bring it to our screen here. Here. So, if I go back uh, or to go to the block diagram, here you can see this is a block diagram. Probably difficult to understand some of the people who doesn't know about the femtosecond laser or the people who are already working with the femtosecond or ultra fast uh, lasers. Uh, they can understand easily the concept. Uh, so here you can see this is where the laser is generated here. And uh, then you have the, to control the, the, the phase of the pulses. And uh, here this is the amplifier and it's a four pass amplifier. And uh, further, if you go to the spectrometer, and you can see the spectrum. And that's you can measure here, and uh, there are different parameters for which our maximum energy passes, number of passes, and etc. So, if I show the front panel now, and if I try to run it, so you can see here, uh, there are different graphs here, these are passes how many passes are, and what is the uh, wavelength energy full width of maximum after number of passes are passed, one, two, three, and for their total five, uh, sorry, four passes. And this is the overall spectrum at the end, and uh, this is the temporal, the temporal domain as well. So, So this is basically a uh, very, very simple a system which has uh, you can say oscillator here, laser is generated here, and then you have four pass amplifier, okay, and then you have a, a spectrometer like here, here as well, energy and something. And in this system, um, it's not, I mean, like you can also use a structure and compressor uh there are some other tutorials which um, can be shown this kind of uh, things a very simplest example i look at to show you so let me go back to the front panel here so you can make a very simple setup very simple system and then you can see what are your expectations you can adjust different parameters and uh, even when you make experimentally in the lab the same parameter you can use here and you can simulate uh, what kind of graphs and what kind of uh, energy value, what kind of spectrum and time domain, spectrum domain. You can see here, like this is the, the spectrum of course, spectrum here, and this is change in energy out of the pass in each and every pass. This is the wavelength and the full width are maximum. So these kind of things you can uh, simulate and you can make a virtual uh, system, and then you can simulate and see um, uh, how does it behave if you go in the lab to make it experimentally. And uh, that is it's a very nice tool actually. So this um, uh, vlog is just to show or just to inform or just to introduce this uh, tool, uh, which is very, very important and very easy to work with. And uh, you can design a femtosecond labor system or uh, different applications related to this one. And definitely, you can only use this uh, tools uh, simulation tool if you understand the femtosecond laser or trafalgar phenomena. And what is that? And that is so. That's all for today. And uh, for this time, maybe in the within the next few days, I can um, also show you how to make a very simple system using this lab tool add-ons in the lab.